Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today is another Zara try on haul. These seem to go down really well on my channel, so if you wanna see what I picked up, please keep on watching. Okay, so my first item is a bag. Now, this bag I've had my eye on for a few months now, and I decided to order it just because when it comes to me trying on an outfit, my bag is really important. Um, I've got a few bags that I kind of alternate between, but I haven't got anything like this bag. So I really like kind of how padded and puffy it is. It's really like soft, really comfortable to wear over the shoulder, and I love the gold chain detail. It's definitely like a um, worn chain detail instead of like a bright kind of fresh gold chain which I really like and I find that it goes really well with the denim blue. This was £29.99 and I literally cannot wait to wear this, probably won't wear it anytime soon but if I'm popping out to, I don't know, do the food shopping um, during the lockdown then I'll be sure to be taking this because I cannot wait to wear it. I just feel it's so versatile and yeah it really does remind me of like the chanel 19 handbags at the moment which everyone is loving but obviously they are so incredibly expensive and i thought for 30 pound it's a really lovely quality handbag next i picked up this bambi sweatshirt now i really like the color of the sweatshirt and that's kind of what made me go for the sweatshirt i didn't necessarily go for it because it's got bambi on it but I really like actually how it's been embroidered. It's kind of a pixelated Bambi. Um, and I thought that this would go so nice with like jeans or some leather trousers. Just really versatile, really comfy. Or you could dress it up with a shirt underneath. This was £25.99. And I decided to pick it up in a medium instead of a small. Because on the model, um, it looked quite cinched in because it's got an elasticated bottom and I really didn't want it to be super tight on me. So I thought I'd size up and I'm really happy I did. I'd probably say it's more of a like bigger small, the medium. Um, and then on the back, it's got Bambi in neon green embroidery detailing. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's really super soft inside, but not too like fleeced. So it would be too hot for me. Yeah, I really like that. And I just feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. So when I picked up that sweatshirt, I had in mind a pair of cream leather trousers. And I picked up these ones. Now I've actually tried these on and they don't actually fit me how I wanted them to fit. I find that they kind of taper out um, at the bottom of the leg, even though they are a straight cut. And I picked these up in a size six, but they're too big around the waist. Um, I could wear a belt, but I quite liked how it's all like beige around the waist, even like the pockets and like the belt detailing loopholes. So I really did kind of want to get away with no belt for these, but unfortunately they just don't fit how I'd like. They did do these in black for definite and another color, but I can't actually think what the other color was, maybe like green. These were $29.99 and as I said, I got them in a small. If you're thinking of getting these, I would definitely say size down just because they do run big. As I always mention it in my Zara hauls or just any of my clothing hauls, I'm between a six to an eight and an extra small to a small. So for size reference, that is what I wear. But yeah, I'm really annoyed and kind of gutted that these don't fit just because I love this color and I feel like I would have got so much wear with like black jumpers, cream, beige, gray even, like, it's just a versatile colour, so I'm really annoyed that they don't fit how I want it, but hopefully they have something similar coming out soon, um, because I know that so many people love leather in the winter and autumn months, but just not this pair. Next, I picked up a shirt. Now, I thought that this would be perfect for the party season. Now, we're definitely not going to be having kind of a lead up to the Christmas um, season as normal. But I thought that this would be really nice if you was maybe like having a house gathering when they're allowed or if you're going for drinks, just really like casual, throw it on with like a pair of leather trousers. It is this gold metallic shirt. Now you're seeing the charm clip, just how open it is. But it does have this button detailing at the bottom, which is towards one side. 
For size reference, I got this in a small and it was $29.99 again. I just find that this is such a flattering shirt. It's really flowy, it does cinch you in slightly at the bottom of your waist and it shows quite a nice amount of skin in terms of chest. If you prefer the more coverage look, I'd probably say maybe like wear a black vest underneath it or maybe like a bralette. Um, but yeah, I just really like this and when I saw it on the model, I thought I could wear it with so many different like bottom choices, either trousers or even like a dress over the top. Literally the options are endless because it's essentially just a fancy metallic shirt. Next, I picked up this black velvet crossover dress. This was $25.99 and again, I picked it up in a small. Now, I have quite a love-hate relationship with velvet. I hate 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 crush velvet i don't know what it is i just am not a fan of it um whether it's furniture or like a cardigan or a jumper just any kind of form of crush velvet i don't like but this is just simple black velvet and it's kind of a plush velvet so it's okay <laughs> but i just thought for the party season again this would be perfect but even just all year round having a black staple mini dress is such a good piece to have and i think for 25.99 you literally cannot go wrong with this dress how i would style this would be either with kind of just the dress on its own or i'd like to maybe put like a white shirt underneath it or like a turtleneck a cardigan over it layer it up with a pair of chunky boots for the daytime i feel like you can get so much wear out of a dress like this. See on in the try on clip that it crosses over at the back and then it's got this ruche detailing down the side which you can um, adjust with the like drawstrings. But I actually quite like um, how much it's already kind of come ruched. Yeah, I really cannot wait to wear this and for you to see how I've styled it. Next, I picked up a cream crew neck jumper. Now, these are such a staple piece from Zara. This is probably like one of my go-tos um, in terms of like knitwear from Zara. I find that they wash really well and they just kind of look so expensive for what they are. So essentially, it's just a 19.99 crew neck jumper, quite thin, but again, really nice for layering. I decided to pick up this cream colour, which is a slightly bit more pinky cream than like whitey cream if that makes sense than i expected but i just thought this would be perfect on its own or under a shirt over a shirt with a t-shirt underneath maybe kind of coming out at the bottom and i thought for 20 pounds i know how these wear and how kind of durable they are in my wardrobe so i thought i'd pick up another one Next, I picked up a black satin dress. Now, this is actually all open, so you'll see in the trial clip um, what it looks like on, but it is a $29.99 Zara dress. Now, I find that sometimes the cheaper the dress is on the Zara website, the better it's slightly made, if that makes sense. For £30, I feel like the quality is so good on this dress. I picked this up in an extra small just because I didn't want the top to be too big compared to the bottom, just because it does cinch in around the bum area. But yeah, I'm really excited to wear this and I can't wait for you to see it in the try-on clip. So lastly is a co-ord set. Now I feel like I always pick up a co-ord set from Zara. I just feel like they are the best place or one of the best places for co-ords. And um, yeah, the price point, you never kind of pay more than like £50 for a two-piece set. So this is what the top looks like. It is a black polo top, long-sleeved top, all black, black buttons and this was $17.99 and I picked this up in a small and then to go with that is a skirt which looking at it now it's slightly longer than I expected it to be I'm five foot four and this is quite long I have a slit at the back so fingers crossed this looks quite nice on. I've got a few different boots that I'm thinking of styling this up with. Again, the skirt was $17.99 and the quality on these two pieces is actually really lovely. It's quite durable and quite stretchy. So fingers crossed it's really flattering as well. Just because I always find that I get quite self-conscious when I've eaten 
and if I'm wearing something quite tight I think that's quite a normal like common thing but I feel even more self-conscious being a smaller person and kind of scared that I'm gonna look like I'm expecting a baby because I get so bloated so hopefully this set is really like complimenting and really flattering and it fits so you'll see in the try and clip what I think of it so everyone, that is the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy seeing what I picked up from Zara. I know it was quite a small haul, but considering we're gonna be going into another lockdown, I thought don't go crazy and spend all your money on Zara because I have to make my money last. So if you do have any video suggestions of what you would like to see, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to film them seeing as I've got so much time on my hands coming up. Thank you so much again for clicking on the video and I'll see you all in my next one. Mm -hmm.